Okay, we're going to make uh, opening doors much more complicated now. So uh, let's, let's say that we want the door to be locked, but in addition to a key, you also need hand sanitizer. So um, let's just start by adding an exit. I just erased the old one because this is a, it's a lot easier to just kind of start a new one. So I'll choose 6 and 7 as my coordinates for both rooms. And no transition. I just want to add a lock. Now, the way this looks is basically it says if there's a key, if the key number of keys in the inventory is greater than one, then it's unlocked and it gives this message that the key opens the door. If you don't have a key, then it says the door's locked. So for us, it's gonna be a little more complicated. I want to say if there's a key, if you have a key, then the next thing to check is if you also have sanitizer. Now in uh, most programming languages, uh, you would you would just be able to kind of make a statement here, a comparison that says if there's a key in the inventory and there's a sanitizer in the inventory, then do this stuff. But here it's a little more complicated. So uh, we're going to do it like I described. If there's a key in the inventory, the next thing to do is check to see if there's sanitizer. So let's delete these things um, and say if there's a key in the inventory, then the next thing to do is add another branching list, which says, is there sanitizer in the inventory greater than or equal to one? Now, if there is, then I want to be able to say you safely opened the door. So in effect, there's both a key and a sanitizer at that moment. Now, anytime I say you open the door, I also need to pair this with um, a an actual add an actual uh, unlock here. So that means it's no longer locked. So I've got uh, if this is its own chunk, right? If there was a key, then we're in this branch here, which says if there's sanitizer in the, sanitizer in the inventory, then you safely open the door. Otherwise, uh, you need sanitizer. Or don't forget the sanitizer. Sanitizer. So, um, and then, you know, again, I can't just say you need sanitizer. I also need to pair it with this um, lock. So property lock equals true. So again, if there's a key in the inventory, then do what's in this bl blue outlined box here, which is check to see if there's sanitizer. If there is, you open the door. So I actually open it here. Otherwise, don't forget the sanitizer. Now, if that initial comparison, is there a key in the inventory? If that's a no, then, then we need to jump down here where it says uh, you need a key. We're not mentioning the sanitizer. It's just like you need a key. So, um, you know, this should work. Now, this can get pretty complicated, especially if we went further than this. Um, this is a case where looking at the code might make sense. So the first thing to notice is that it's comparing item one. So how do we know which item is which? It uses names here, not numbers. So if you look in the game data, you can see there are tiles, there are sprites. Each of them has both an identifier, like in this case, it's sprite A, but it does have a name. So sprite A is the cat. Item zero, here's what it looks like. If you squint, you can actually see a teapot, a teacup there, and uh, it's a name, the name is T. Then there's a key, that's item number one, and then down here, item number two is the sanitizer. So uh, this is the key. If there's more than one uh, equal to or more than one key, then do what's in here. Otherwise, say you need a key. Now what's in here? This is uh, looking at the sanitizer and saying if there's one of those then you or more, then you open the door. Otherwise, don't forget the sanitizer. So this is the whole thing. And at some point, if you're doing this a lot, you might just work in here rather than here because it does get a little crazy, especially when you're trying to click in the right spot to add the right thing. That's really the hardest part. So let's hit play and see if this works. So when I first go to it, it says you need a key. And then I get the key and it says, don't forget the sanitizer. Get the sanitizer and you safely open the door. Just to make sure this works, let's try it the other way. I'll get the sanitizer first and try this. It says you need a key. And then down here it says I've got a key and you safely open the door.
So uh, you can kind of tweak this in any way you want and uh, start to get really more complicated. But like I said, I think it's worth at least understanding what the code looks like so that you could, uh, if nothing else, just tweak things in here or copy and paste, right? You know that you need a uh, locked is false here and, and uh, you know, or uh, locked is true here when it opens. And um, so it's possible Sorry. Yeah, no, these <laughs> locked is true means that it's uh, locked. So you know that you need that in both places. If you forgot it in one in the graphical part, it's honestly easier just to copy and paste that line where it needs to be here. So getting an understanding of that and how it relates to the game data is useful uh, as you get more complicated with your games.